Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> so I'm really excited. If you recall a few videos back, I really, really, really wanted to get some antique dress forms when I was visiting Aurora, Oregon. That didn't happen, but over the weekend I scored two vintage dress forms. So I have one in the back, as you can see, and she's a mess. She's a disaster. I mean, she looks like she has been too drunk, too often, falling down too many flights of steps. The plan is to go to fabric store and see if I can't find um, some new clothes for her. She needs like to be reupholstered. She needs new fabric laid on her because yeah, right now I can't deal with her. She just looks like a hot mess. So, <laughs> all right, let's do this. Let's see if we can't find any cool new clothes for her. I'm, you know, rolling her around like in a stretcher right now. <laughs> so we are at Mill End Fabric Store in Portland, Oregon. Well, I guess technically Milwaukee, Oregon. And pretty diverse selection of um, all sorts of fabrics ranging from wedding to quilting to upholstery. We're looking at kind of a sweater knit. Um, it's pretty much four-way stretch. So this could look really nice. I kind of feel like you guys should take a vote on this because I can't decide what to use. Um, I have two choices. I have, well, this one and this one. Um, and it's kind of laid over her. I'm so glad I brought her in because, well, it's helping me to <laughs> decide or not decide what to get. You know, it's not good to go shopping on an empty stomach. <laughs> I'm starving. I was like, get me out of here. I can't decide. Help! So I chose something completely different than what I was showing you guys earlier. And yeah, let's get back to the studio and see how it looks. And just like that, we are back in the Dark Fusion Boutique headquarters. So I wanted to show you the other dress form I purchased. This is Sally. She's probably from the mid-50s. She doesn't expand and collapse properly. Some of the mechanisms inside don't work. I have to go in and kind of fix them. They're a little bent. But other than that, she looks really good. There's no tears or rips. A little discoloration. Looks like some green paint right down here. But other than that, she's a beauty. All right, let's get back to her. But this one came with the base. She's off her base right now because, well, I just want to put her on the table and show you guys. I'm really excited about her. I know she looks terrible, but she works. She expands and claps properly. The mechanisms are intact, so that's great. In fact, right now she is expanded almost fully, and I've left her like that. So when I go in to tear out the, fab the original fabric, you know, I have space to do that, and I also have space to go in and put the new fabric in, alright? But yeah, this is why I'm going to fix her up. Uh, she just, she's a hot mess. She looks like she got attacked by alligators. A pack of dogs. So she came with a big hole right back here. <laughs> and I went ahead and um, glued cardboard on, kind of on the inside, just to make this line flush again. Otherwise, it was just a total eyesore. I, I wasn't down with that look at all. You know, if I left her like this, she would make a great, like, haunted sewing studio Halloween prop. A little extra spider web, some dust. Oh, she'd be great. And guess what this was? 
this was an empty uh, toilet paper tube. <laughs> I just flattened it and glued it on on the inside. And it works great. It's really solid. So I'm happy about that. And check this out. She's got kind of empty armholes, which makes for a really neat view. Isn't that rad? All right, so as you can see, it's gonna be a bit of a problem to get off uh, a lot of this fabric along the edges. Some of it will tear, but a lot of it is really or glued tight. Like, I really wanna get my hands on this like 50s glue because it is holding. So yeah, as I was working on this, I uh, kind of felt like I was on I was on the lookout for maybe like a mama mouse and her babies to kind of crawl out of this. <laughs> Alright, well I already went ahead and cut out my first piece, it's kind of on the shoulder here. I used clamps just to help uh, keep the fabric in place and cut. I'm not going to sit and measure and cut everything, I'm just going to kind of clamp on the fabric and then cut it. Alright, now this is going to be actually kind of hard. Um, I'm dealing with kind of avoiding or I'm dealing with trying to work or working around um, these slidey bits. I already went ahead and took off a clasp just to loosen this up so I can get the fabric to wrap underneath it. some progress. I'm really happy. She is starting to really shape up. I did learn while doing this that I'm doing it probably all wrong. <laughs> Realistically, I should have taken her completely apart and attached the fabric to each individual piece and then, you know, put her back together. That's why you really never see these old dress forms reupholstered because it's insane. It's so much work. If you've done this before, please comment below and let me know what your process was. I'd love to hear it. So I took off all the clothespins, as you can see. And I want to kind of address some of the tricky parts. For example, these metal bits up here with the rounded shape. Well, over here, for now, I've left this fabric loose along here. Later, with little tiny scissors, I will cut this into more of a rounded shape. Try to get some of the fabric underneath the metal bit and glue it down so it looks nice and tidy. And I have a few little spots uh, that are a little bit bulgy I have to tidy up. And again, I left this a little bit loose. And later I'm going to work around these metal slidey bits. And here's the back. Not bad. All the pieces in the front have been covered with fabric. And she just looks so creepy like this. Well, I'm super happy. She had been drying for about three, four hours. I just removed the clothespins, and guess what? She looks awesome. I'm so excited. I almost bailed. I almost bailed halfway through the project because 
working on her was so tedious, super time consumptive, super messy, and I even got a splinter. <laughs> Only injury though. So I'm glad I finished her. <clears throat> the payoff is great. I will be very proud to display her in my studio now. So yeah, let's take a look at her. The moment we've all been waiting for. So excited. So I went ahead and saved this label. It's white dress forms. It has the size of the bust and the waist of the hips. Basically size A. If you recall, it went right here. Well, I'm saving this little label and I'm going to kind of reattach her somewhere inside. You know, keep all the original parts and pieces together. Let's take a look at her all the way around. Pretty awesome. So, interesting thing, I was looking at YouTube. I got really curious to see if anyone else put out a video like this, you know, reupholstering, redoing an old dress form. And I couldn't find any, so I might be the first one ever to post a video like this on YouTube. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, guys, this has been a lot of fun. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. Please share this video with your friends. Go ahead and comment, and I'll talk to you guys again very, very soon. All right, bye.